You can spend almost as much money as you want on making your bike more aerodynamic, but fundamentally, it's actually your body that is the biggest drag holding you back. Actually, for most of us, our bodies just hold us back full stop. But anyway, let's gloss over that, shall we? The single best thing that you can do to make yourself faster, then, is to buy a pair of aero handlebars. Now, they're not going to make your bike more aerodynamic, but they will make you considerably more aerodynamic. Now, of course, they're not legal in mass start road events, but for ultra endurance events, for time trials, and for triathlon, they make a really sound investment. But which ones do you choose? You have two basic choices to make. Firstly, so-called clip-ons that bolt on to traditional road handlebars. And then you also have something more like these, which are a full aero handlebar and more at home on a traditional time trial bike. Now you don't need a specific bike, but to use these, you will need different gear shifters, different brake levers, and therefore a full recable every time you swap from a traditional road handlebar to a full aero bar. And basically, it would take an experienced mechanic about an hour every time you want to do that job. Let's start with clip-ons first, shall we? They bolt onto the central section of your handlebar, as you can see. Some of them, like these from Profile, will bolt onto the top of your handlebars, therefore raising your elbows up slightly and making your position a little bit more upright. Some, however, will mount below the handlebars, therefore dropping you down a little bit. Now, which ones you choose depend on, firstly, what type of riding you do, but then also how low your position is as a starting point. So for some people doing perhaps ultra endurance events where aero is gonna come secondary to comfort, then being a little bit higher up is probably a good idea. However, if you wanna get really aero, the chances are that you may well want to go a little bit lower. And in fact, in those cases, you might even wanna consider dropping your stem as well, or perhaps swapping it entirely for one that drops you even further. You'll also want to look at having adjustable pads. So that means both for height, independently of your handlebars, and also the width, because some people will find that they're more comfortable with wider elbows and wider hands, whereas other people will wanna be narrower. In terms of which one is more aerodynamic is unfortunately not very clear cut because it very much depends on the width of your shoulders. I'm sorry about that one. And the last thing you need to think about is the shape of the extensions themselves. These ones, the T2 Pluses, are actually my choice and they keep your wrist much, much flatter. They feel faster, although I've never actually tested them in a wind tunnel, so I don't know how it affects my position. But you may well find that if you're on the bike for longer periods of time, I'm looking at you ultra endurance athletes, that you might want an extension that kicks up a little bit more at the end. Then, one last point to mention actually is for triathletes. Those of you that are doing draft legal races need to bear in mind that the end of your extensions need to finish before the maximum extent of your brake levers. So these need to be a lot shorter and they also need to be joined in the middle as well. What about full-blown aero bars then? Well, as I mentioned, if you are considering buying some of these for the first time, you also need to factor in that you're gonna need specific brake levers and also gear shifters as well. And they do tend to be significantly more aerodynamic than road handlebars, so buying the most aero ones you can find should probably be something that you wanna factor into your buying decision, as is the fact that you want them to be UCI legal, if you're doing UCI sanctioned events, of course. And by that I mean they need to conform to the three to one ratio of width to depth. So on the base bar here, you can see that does meet it, but it is significantly wider than it is deeper. Now, a full-blown aero bar probably has less adjustment than the clip-ons, but there is still plenty to play with. So you'll be able to move the width of the pads out, and then also on these profile ones, you can actually increase the stack. So increase the distance between the base bar and the extensions by up to 10 centimeters. Remember that actually setting up your aero bars is one of the most important parts 
of actually buying them. If you just throw them on your bike, you may find that you don't actually get any more aerodynamic at all. You don't need to invest in a full-on bike fit, although if you're relatively inexperienced, then it might well be a good idea. But definitely put your bike on an indoor trainer, either in front of a full-length mirror or a video camera, and just check out, firstly, your position and your frontal area, which is one of the most important parts of aerodynamics, and indeed, how changes to your setup will change your frontal area. There are golden rules. Generally, your power output and your comfort should be more important than your aerodynamics, so maintaining them as opposed to adopting a super extreme position that looks more aerodynamic. And then also bear in mind that as you lean further forward, your hips will rotate, and that means that you will want to push your seat a little bit further forward as well. So I've swapped out a seat post to an inline one here and knocked the saddle correspondingly further forwards as well. Aero handlebars then are definitely a secret to being able to go faster. Just make sure that you spend a little bit of time choosing the right ones and indeed setting them up. Now, make sure you have subscribed to GCN. It's completely free, it's very easy. All you've got to do is click on the globe. And then if you're after some more content, I have a couple of very relevant ones for you right now, including how to fit and set up clip-on aero bars. See, told you it's relevant. That is just up there. Or to see how to get more comfortable with your road handlebars and adjust the fit on them, then click just down there.